Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Al Break. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the UAE Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom to participate in the meeting of the 10th session of the Joint Higher Committee between Bahrain and the UAE. His Majesty the King affirmed pride in the deep rooted historical relations between Bahrain and the UAE, which are based on strong foundations of brotherhood, visions, understanding, and joint coordination. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed conveyed to His Majesty the greetings and appreciation of the UAE President, His Highness. Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan and the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and their best wishes for Bahrain and its people of continued progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King welcomed the UAE Minister of Foreign Affairs and the accompanying delegation and asked them to convey his greetings to the UAE President and to the Vice President, Prime Minister, and ruler of Dubai, as well as His Majesty's sincere wishes to the people of the UAE of further development and advancement. His Majesty praised the outcome of the meeting of the Joint Higher Committee and fruitful efforts in strengthening the paths of cooperation and integration and opening new horizons for mutual coordination in various aspects for the welfare and prosperity of the two brotherly countries and people. His Majesty the King underlined the honorable stances of the UAE towards Bahrain and its people, praising its pivotal active role at the regional and international levels and its efforts in defending the nation's causes and supporting joint Arab action, as well as laying the foundations for security and stability in the region. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed and Hayyan expressed his deep appreciation for the keenness of His Majesty the King to strengthen relations between the two brotherly countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 59 of the year 2022, reappointing Mohammed Rashid Abdullah Al Ramahi as Inspector General of the National Security Agency for a five year term, with the rank of Under Secretary based on the nomination of the NSA President and the proposal of the Prime Minister. His Majesty also issued Royal Decree 60 of the year 2022, designating the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority as the competent administrative agency stipulated in Decree Law 55 of the year 2018, with respect to electronic transferable records based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and after the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued a Decree Law 38 of the year 2022, amending some provisions of Decree Law 54 of the year 2002 regarding the internal regulations of the Council of Representatives based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and after the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty the issue or issued Decree Law 39 of the year 2022, amending some provisions of Decree Law 72 of the year 2006 regarding the emblem of the Kingdom of Bahrain based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and after the approval of the cabinet according to the decree law article 1 of decree law 72 of the year 2006 regarding the emblem of the kingdom of bahrain shall be amended as follows the emblem of the kingdom of bahrain shall consist of the kingdom's flag within a three-sided shield shaped frame with a top straight base containing arab style motives engraved on its sides and uh, surmounted by the royal crown with five triangles his majesty the king also issued decree law 40 of the year 2022 adding a new article 1 to law 81 of 2006 approving the unified industrial system law of the gulf cooperation council countries based on the proposal of the prime minister and after the approval of the cabinet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom to participate in the meeting of the 10th session of the Joint Higher Committee between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the UAE at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of the long standing relations between Bahrain and the UAE, which built on the unwavering support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal his Highness welcomed His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed and his accompanying delegation to the Kingdom and commended the outcomes of the Joint Higher Committee meetings which contributed to furthering the bilateral cooperation, strengthening economic and investment relations and achieving the aspirations of the two countries and their people. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed extended the greetings of the UAE President and the Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum to His Royal Highness and their best wishes of continued progress and prosperity for Bahrain and its citizens. In return, His Royal Highness 
Highness extended his greetings and best wishes to the UAE President and Vice President, wishing the UAE and his people continued progress and development. His Royal Highness commended the UAE's firm stances towards the Kingdom and its people, highlighting the UAE's active regional and global roles and efforts in promoting joint Arab cooperation and establishing the foundations for security and peace. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed expressed his gratitude to His Royal Highness for his ongoing support and bolstering cooperation between the two countries in which the Kingdom continued progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness then hosted a lunch banquet in honor of the visit of His Highness and the accompanying delegation. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Charity Educational Endowment, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and several senior officials also attended the meeting. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rajda Zayani, chaired the 10th Ministerial Meeting of Joint Higher Committee between the two countries. Also present were the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the State Minister at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Khalifa Shaheen, the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Zayed Al Zayani, the Minister of Oil and Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Dana, the BCCI Chairman, Samir Nas. The CEO of Mumtalakat, Khalid Ramehi, the CEO of EDB, Khalid Hamidan, and senior officials. Dr. Zayani delivered a speech in which he affirmed the holding, uh, the holding this meeting is under the framework of the keenness of the two countries to enhance the historic brotherly bilateral relations under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The Minister praised the bilateral strategic partnership and cooperation in all fields. He praised the wise approach of the UAE's foreign policy and its efforts in spreading peace and stability in the region and the world, as well as supporting the GCC cooperation market to enhance its achievements and enhance the joint Arab action in order to protect the interests of the Arab nations, which is in accordance with Bahrain's foreign policy. The Foreign Affairs Minister expressed thanks and appreciation for the level of cooperation and coordination between the two ministries in regional and international events towards various causes and challenges. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed expressed pleasure with visiting Bahrain to head UAE's delegation to the meeting. He praised the bilateral deep-rooted fraternal relations, noting the increase of trade exchange between the two countries and the importance of bolstering cooperation. His Highness affirmed the importance of strengthening bilateral economic, commercial and investment cooperation, increasing the private sector's opportunities as well as encouraging it to carry out its economic and developmental role. During the meeting, the course of fraternal ties and the progress in various fields were reviewed. The two heads of delegation affirmed the joint political keenness on continuing the development of relations in all fields and reviewed bilateral ties in light of the memorandums of understanding and executive program signed on November 9, 2021 in a Abu Dhabi. The two sides expressed satisfaction with the level of political consultation and coordination between the two countries. They stressed their keenness on coordinating action in regional and international organizations and events. They hailed the outstanding cooperation in the consular field, highlighting the role of the two countries' embassies in following up on activating signed agreements. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and his accompanying delegation had arrived in Bahrain on an official visit to chair UAE's delegation at the 10th Ministerial Meeting of Joint Higher Committee between the two countries. He was received on arrival at Bahrain International Airport by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, the Under Secretary for Political Affairs, Ambassador Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Under Secretary for Counselor and Administrative Affairs, Ambassador Dr. Mohammed Ali Bahzad, the Ambassador of the UAE to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Bahrain's Ambassador to the UAE, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Director General of Ministry Affairs, Ambassador Tal Abdul Salam Al Ansari, and other senior officials at the Ministry. The Minister of Works, Engineer Ibrahim Al Hawaj, confirmed that the tender board has awarded 44 tenders to the Ministry of Works during the third quarter of the current year at a total cost of more than 27 million Bahraini dinars. The Minister indicated that the projects that were awarded included roads, sanitation, construction, and maintenance. He stressed that the projects came in implementation of the government's program to develop infrastructure services in a way that supports the national economy and pushes the path of economic development and meets the aspirations of citizens in lines with the goals of sustainable development. 
The Minister of Health, Dr. Zarila Hassan, chaired Bahrain's delegation at the 8th meeting of the GCC Health Ministers and the 85th meeting of the GCC Health Ministers Council, which was held in Riyadh. The Minister expressed thanks and appreciation for the distinguished efforts made in organizing the meetings and achieving the common GCC goals. She noted that the range of issues raised were centered around developing pioneering GCC health models to ensure continuous development of the health sector and achieve the desired goals and aspirations. She pointed out to the significance of continuing promotion promoting cooperation in the health field to further upgrade the health sector in GCC countries. The Minister of Health, Dr. Zahila Hassan, met with her Kuwaiti counterpart, Dr. Ahmed Al Awadi, on the sidelines of the 8th meeting of the GCC Health Ministers and the 85th meeting of the GCC Health Council. They discussed issues of common interest related to the health field and praised the strong historical fraternal relations and the growing cooperation between Bahrain and Kuwait. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Ramehi, received a delegation from Bahrain Real Estate Investment Company, Idama. The discussions focus on boosting joint cooperation between the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning and Idama, including the implementation of strategic projects in Bahrain housing cities to serve citizens, residents and visitors. The President of the Asian Football Confederation, the AFC, and First Vice President of the International Football Association, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to His Majesty Sultan Abdullah bin Sultan Ahmed Shah of Malaysia during the meeting or a meeting at the Istana Negara Palace in Kuala Lumpur. The Malaysian monarch welcomed Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim and asked him to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and his wishes of abundant health and happiness, as well as of continued progress and prosperity for Bahrain. His Majesty Sultan Abdullah praised the efforts of Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim in developing the AFC, hailing the vital roles played by the Continental Confederation and providing various forms of support to advance the Asian football system. Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty Sultan Abdullah for the hospitality and warm welcome amending or commending His Majesty's contributions to Asian football in over nearly three decades. During the meeting, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim reviewed the plans and programs of the AFC aimed at advancing the process of Asian football. He also gave a briefing on the AFC stadium project to be implemented in the Malaysian city of Putrajaya in cooperation with the FIFA. The President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, participated in the Fifth Cultural Summit in Abu Dhabi. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed commended or commented during one of the summit's sessions, along with the UAE Minister of Culture and Youth, Noor Al Kaabi, and the UNESCO's Assistant Director General for Culture, Ernesto Ramirez. The summit explored creative cultural solutions for the most prominent global issues in the post pandemic world and contemporary challenges that drive changes in cultural sectors today. Summit participants will discuss collective cultural systems and the adoption of culture as life experiences. The Ministry of Information participated in the 12th session of the Islamic Conference on Information Ministers organized by the General Secretariat of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the OIC, in Istanbul. Information Ministry Under Secretary Dr. Abdurrahman Bahar headed Bahrain's delegation on behalf of the Information Minister Dr. Ramzan Naimi. In his speech, Bahar stressed that elevating the level of information within the Islamic world and enhancing it uh, represents a core issue to strengthen the capacity of the OIC countries to face the prevailing challenges and their various dimensions and impact. He stated that at the invitation of His Majesty the King, Bahrain will welcome in November a historic official visit of His Holiness Pope Francis and the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar to participate in the Bahrain Forum for Dialogue East and West for Human Coexistence, which reinforces Bahrain's commitment to building bridges between the leaders of religions, sex, thoughts, culture and media across the globe. The Undersecretary stated that media institutions have a great responsibility to express the policies and orientations of countries that are derived from the true Islamic religion that encourages peace, cooperation among people. The head of the Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission and the Executive Director of the Parliamentary and Municipal Elections 2022, Chancellor Nawaf Hamza, stated that the final list of candidates for the Parliamentary and Municipal Elections will be presented in the Supervisory Committees on the Integrity of the Referendum and the Elections tomorrow, in addition to their publications on the Elections official website. This comes after the end of the legally prescribed period for submitting the candidates' appeals and the competent court's decisions on all the appeals submitted to it. Hamza noted that the Supervisory Committee 
apologies for the integrity of the referendum and the elections began handing over the voter list to the candidates. He announced that each candidate for the parliamentary and municipal elections will be allowed to choose voters from among those registered in the electoral list. Regarding any request to waive candidacy, Chancellor Hamza stated that the deadline for submitting requests to waive candidacy for the parliamentary and municipal elections will be on November 2, 2022, in implementation of the law, whereby the candidate has the right to waive the candidacy by written notification on the form prepared for this purpose, submitted to the Supervisory Committee of the constitu Constituency at least 10 days before the election day. The voice of Al-Azhar magazine focused on its latest edition on the East and West Dialogue for Human Coexistence Forum, which will be hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain early November. More in this report. Held under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the East and West Dialogue for Human Coexistence Forum will be attended by the head of the Catholic Church, His Holiness Pope Francis, and the Grand Imam of Al Azhar, His Eminence Sheikh Dr. Ahmed Al Tayyib, in addition to more than 200 global faith leaders and officials. In a special press report devoted to the global event titled The Ship of Human Fraternity Docks at a New Station on Bahraini Land. The magazine indicated the organization of this forum is within the framework of Bahrain's keenness and strategic policy to build bridges of dialogue among leaders in cooperation with Al Azhar, the Catholic Church, the Muslim Council of Elders, the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, and a number of international institutions concerned with dialogue, human coexistence, and tolerance. His Majesty the King has established the Kingdom's firm approach to peaceful coexistence, dialogue and openness to the world with all its religious, cultures and ethnicities without discrimination or intolerance. His Majesty the King had laid down the foundations that represent the essence of the principles of the internal and foreign policy of the Kingdom, which are based on guaranteeing the right of religious belief, the practice of worship and living on the land of Bahrain in peace, security and respect. Bahrain has made great efforts to devote and build on these principles as an outcome of the comprehensive development process that was launched by His Majesty the King.